All right, so day two of the Wrecking Rule Amazon exclusives is revealed. And today we have Leadfoot and Master Don Manis. Ugh, can't stand saying that name already, but I do like the way this figure looks. And of course, we know now that the uh, Leadfoot is basically a repaint of the Kingdom uh, Mirage mold, which oddly enough was also an Amazon exclusive. So looks like Amazon owns the mold just like Walmart owns the uh, Netflix Soundwave mold. So that's what it looks like. That's what Hasbro said. Uh, now the Master Dominus uses a remix of the other uh, molds from these, uh, you know, these parts or whatever. I never got into them, but apparently you have to because if you get all five, you get to assemble the hammer. So this is going to be a pretty fairly expensive set. We're looking at about 200 bucks when we get through revealing all the rest of them. So let's hope it stays in that and they're not being all released at once. Because Boy, it's going to take a hurt in our pocket. But first things first, we're going to look at Master Dominus. And I do like the way he looks. He looks like a warrior, like some type of jungle warrior. And I, I dig that. I dig the vibe that he's giving off here. I really want to pick up this figure. I actually like this more than I like the repaint for Leadfoot. We'll talk about that when we get to Leadfoot in a moment. Um, I love this alt mode. It almost makes me think of the Mastodon from, uh, you know, the original Power Rangers, you know, the forms of Megazord. And, you know, that's pretty cool, too. So, again, there's a lot of things that's going to be in this set that are going to, you know, set it off for people. It's either you're going to like one or the other or both. And in this set, I like this guy more. And, yeah, this will be my first uh, weaponizer or whatever they call him from the kingdom line or whatever they call these things I, I just don't collect these things but this time around they got me because they got me and yeah i i dig it i think it looks good um you should pick it up now let's talk about the lead foot now unfortunately we're not going to get a new mold for lead foot which you know i stated early in the video i would have liked them to give something different besides just a straight you know repaint remold the head maybe give us different weapons so third party to the rescue for the rotary weapons that we're supposed to get. And he did come with two in the original toy if you lost one, but you only really could use one. So other than that, I'm still pleased at what they did. They really stayed faithful to the G2 character. So I can't fault Hasbro for that. They're putting a lot of money in this set. So Amazon is getting their money's worth out of that Kingdom Mirage mold. And I have to admit with the remolded head, yeah, I can dig it. Although I still wish they kind of, you know, got rid of the, you know, that chest part, maybe make it a little bit different, but it's enough where it matches the original lead foot. And the vehicle mold looks stunningly painted. Again, it comes with the same weapon, so hopefully a third party will make some type of rotary weapon or some way for a rotary weapon to work, because I would rather have that than it just to be like, well, it's just Mirage, it's painted differently with a different head. Well, that's not the first time that we've done that. We got the, uh, the crasher repaint of the uh mirage and then of course here is the uh mold here and it from the other side and it looks good that psychedelic background's killing me though but here you get to see a clearer pick of the mold and i just have to say it does look it looks good so another 45 dollars down the drink so overall amazon's kind of giving us it's a little more excitement but Legacy on the whole so far for me has not been that great of a line. A lot of Legacy is repaints and slight retools of stuff we've already gotten. And heck, Legacy has went as far back as Titans Return for this set of records. So I guess we'll get revealed the Twin Twists and Topspin next um, or somewhere along the lines. So we got Springer and a few others to be released. But this one right here is going to probably be another sought after set because of the G2 Leadfoot and because of the Master Dominus it's going to make it even better so in my opinion overall the set is a go for me i'm just not ready to spend 50 dollars a day but hey you know i'm a collector that's what i do so what are your thoughts are you going to pick up the set are you pleased with it are you not pleased with it let me know down in the comments below and we'll talk about it so again my name is super robot ed thank you for watching my videos we'll see you soon got some reviews coming bye bye